Okay, so the Billy Goat has kind of had a hard rap on my channel. You know, I, I recently bought it. It's been having a lot of clogs and a lot of issues. Here's what it came down to. The diameter of the hose going into my box was too small. It fit around this uh, exit, but then it came up here and it, I was having some issues. So let me show you what I had. Okay, so it's still on there. This is the mount. This is actually part of the cyclone rake that I was using before that I cut off. And the reason I kept it was for these, these latches. I figured that would make it easy. But the reality is, you know, the hose came right here. So this is on the inside and it was causing a spot where stuff would get clogged up. So it worked good, it was centered. Um, but since I've changed it and I went to using the wider diameter hose, now I'm having a much, much finer shred on the leaves. Way better, night and day difference. So that came down to user error. And I kind of figured that that's the case, it was user error. I was restricting airflow and it wasn't coming through good. So I put a wider diameter hose up here. This is also smooth on the inside versus the other one had more of uh, you know, deep ridges all the way through. So, I mean, it just, it, it slowed down the, the flow of the airflow. So big wide tube into a smaller tube. It was the same diameter as up here, but also where it goes into the box, it was just, it was clogging up there. After changing that, it's like a whole new machine. And uh, somebody asked me, um, Will it suck up acorns? Well, it just so happens I got a big oak tree and I got a ton of acorns there. So those things are probably a good six to eight inches deep. And that's, I mean, here's my foot for perspective. It's every bit of three foot wide, it's three foot that way. So we're gonna go ahead and suck them up and see what it looks like. My foot's level with the concrete at this point. It's above my boot. Sticks, twigs. You know, I was starting to like this guy a little bit, but he's such an idiot. I mean, here's another video. He's gonna suck himself up. I mean, come on, nobody sucks better than I do. I mean, uh, did you see in the last video he's wearing tennis shoes? Total fake it till you make it. What's up? Hey, those intros are uh, inspired by comments. So, uh, whenever you see a, a stupid comment down in a second, just know that I'm probably gonna respond back to it with my intro. Now I want to tell you why I like to wear dad shoes while I'm out mowing. Some of you may or may not know this, but if you wear different shoes, your feet can heal. They feel better over time. If you wear the same shoe over and over, well your feet are going to get really, really bad shape. Which is the reason why my feet got in bad shape over years of doing this work. So if you are in this business, I would highly suggest getting a few different pairs of shoes, not duct taping them up. I'm going to tell you, duct taping them up, while it's fun to do with your girlfriend and your wife, it is not fun to do with uh, your shoes. Because long term, it will give you bone spurs. And it's just, it, it, yeah, it just doesn't need to go places. Now we're going to go ahead and in, in, get in here and talk about some equipment. Moving forward, I want to let you guys know that I do not have any uh, affiliation with Billy Goat or any other company. I um, don't know if I want to tie up my hands with the company. We'll see down the road. Like I said, if there's an offer made that's worth it, maybe I'll take it. Who knows? But as far as where we're at, we're a pretty small channel, and uh, I'm not really concerned with money. I mean, money's always a big plus, but um, I, I don't know. I'd rather give an honest review. So... Will this thing suck up acorns? We are cutting right through this pile, but you'll notice that the tube is getting like halfway full, right? And the reason being is um, an acorn is like the perfect aerodynamic shape. You know, it's smooth on the front side and then it tapers off on the back side. So if you know anything about aerodynamics, it's a perfect aerodynamic shape. That means air flows past it really, really well. And then if you know about pneumatics, um, you know, I used to work at a factory and I got to build an air transfer unit where we were actually shooting parts 
out of uh, the machine. It, they would drop into a hopper, go through a big tube like this, and they would actually, instead of being vacuumed, they would be pushed with a blower and push across the facility. So if the tube were to reach um, a certain capacity on the inside of being full, so, you know, um, say if it reaches 25, 30% of being full, you can kind of see here where the tube, you know, it's, it's built up in the tube. If it were to reach a certain capacity, it restricts the amount of airflow. The more airflow, the easier it is to pull stuff through. So that's part of what's going on here. So at a certain point with these acorns, I actually figured the best solution is just to lift up the hose and kind of help push it through. Would it suck them through? Yeah, but it'd it take a long time. It's pulling two or three or four at a time. Now, if you're pulling... Um, you know leaves through here the thing is a leaf is perfect for catching the wind it's a flat surface um, which is why you use blowers and blowers push them so easy because it's a flat surface kind of like a sail so when it's pulling through it'll pull acorns and sticks and everything with it so uh, kind of a big plus and you can see right here we're pulling through it's shooting through with the billy goat and it's shredding everything up really really well um, I'm really pleased with this uh, this billy goat. I don't know what size the the vacuum diameter here is. Um, I want to say it's like I don't know, 10 or 12 inches or I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that that into it. I know, Kevin, you could be so much better at giving equipment reviews. Well, that's really an equipment review. I don't know. I thought about doing some reviews. Uh, by the way, actual reviews where I beat some stuff up and I tell you about my equipment because I like to do one thing make money with my equipment not beat it up uh, so I've learned what breaks and what doesn't break and if you've seen me in the past I'll throw a weed eater on the ground not throw but I'll drop it on the ground and uh, I'm not easy on my equipment my equipment is there to make me money and protect my body <laughs> so you know that's that's really my main concern with it I don't care how long it lasts I mean obviously I want it to make its money's worth but at a certain point there's a point of diminishing return now that doesn't mean I'm gonna go out there just tearing it up to tear it up but I will use it as it's meant to be used and not worry if I scratch it you will never see me on this YouTube channel polishing my mower maybe once see maybe January February I might clean it up when I'm getting total cabin fever but you will never see me out there waxing my mower telling you how awesome a certain wax is. But that's just me. I'm not talking bad about anybody that does because I know that the thing is when you buy an expensive machine, you want it to... Why stop there? Well, you want it to look good and I understand it. For me, I, I could honestly care less if it gets a little dirty I could spray it off and no big deal okay we got some pine bark mulch here some pretty big stuff and uh, kind of like I was talking about with the leaves being like a cell man it just uh, it just rips right through the stuff and shred it up really good too so yeah just tearing it up Billy Goat for the win there um, but back to the equipment, yeah, I, I don't care if it's, you know, gets scratched or dinged or dented or whatever. Alright, so we made it through the, the pine bark mulch, we made it through the acorns, let's put out some brown mulch. Good old $3 bag special, I had some laying around, figured might as well Just stick around and see the uh, bag of pebbles I put through there in a minute. <laughs> I'm just kidding don't freak out okay I went back through and I looked up the specs uh, so that I could let you know it is the 18 horsepower um, Briggs and Stratton Vanguard mine does have the uh, um, the 16 inch diameter impaler it does have the um, piranha blade on there I had some people suggesting that as well I appreciate all the uh, comments helping me troubleshoot by the way that, uh, that really does go a long ways to helping out when I've got some issues, so that's pretty nice. So I've got the 18 horsepower, uh, that's a four cycle engine, 
It's got 2.5 gallons. Um, sorry, 2.25 gallons of fuel capacity. Let's see here. It comes with a three-year warranty if you buy them new. I didn't buy mine new. I bought it for $3,000 off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. Now, um, it has the 12 to 1 reduction. It says debris reduction up to 12 to 1. So, it basically shreds it up real fine. I have the 10-inch um, diameter inlet. I don't know what the exit diameter is, but I believe the new hose that I put on from the Billy Goat to the truck right here is an 8 inch diameter hose but I believe the tube I have on there is a um, I want to say it's an 8 inch diameter uh, let's see here it's 12 gauge um, 12 gauge steel housing it's got the safety kill switch mine's a pull start um, it's not a, a key switch a key switch would be pretty nice all right, so this is an 18 horsepower billy goat, and yes, it will suck up some acorns. It'll suck up some pine bark mulch like it's nothing. It'll suck up regular mulch like it's nothing. And I even sucked a few rocks through there. Uh, you wanna see what it looks like on the inside of the box? We'll go there in a second. But yeah, 18 horsepower billy goat. Dude, it does great. Like I said, part of it was user error. It was slugging up on me. That's my fault, and you'll notice there's a learning curve to every machine. You have to tweak your setup so it's the most efficient it can be. And if it's slugging up nonstop, obviously it's not very efficient. So, you know, don't don't beat yourself up. It, you know, the equipment's great. It's my first time using it. You gotta adjust and work as you go. Just, yeah, you get the point. Anyways. Oh, we left a few acorns. Just start it back up. I don't think so. <laughs> put that there. Now I'm gonna go. Put that there. Let's go look at these acorns and see how bad they look. Come with me. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna sing again. All right, let's climb in here. All right, you can see I've been using it with leaves. Um, whoa! We got the mulch on top. Obviously, it didn't shred up the mulch much more. But look at these acorns, man. Do you want to make a, an acorn nut pie? Can you eat acorns? Can you eat them? I don't know. I don't see why not. Yeah. Little green. That's not ripe yet. <laughs> All right, so it was blasting it against the wall. You know, this is from last year. Right here, thick and nasty from the cyclone wreck. This right here, well, that's where the billy goat's shooting right now. They're just slamming up against the wall. I mean, this is my leaf debris that I've been getting today. I've been sucking um, bush trimmings and clippings and stuff that's real big too. Like, uh, you know, I mean, the stuff that had pretty wide diameter from bush trimmings and it, it's pulling it right through uh, shredding it up real good I cut Nandina's down um, yesterday and you know the thick stalks probably one inch diameter and about a foot long just sucked them right up so I'm very impressed it's got a place on my setup year round and I like it so you know uh, the only thing I could see replacing it with at this point is a big 37 horsepower but I don't have that deep of pockets. So if you want to check out the 37 horsepower, I got to get a hold of my buddy Luke, who happened to buy one this year. So next month he's cleaning up apartments. You know, because he takes care of a lot of apartments. He's going to be cleaning up some apartments. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to film his guys and we're going to check out that 37 horsepower in action. He's got a massive leaf box. And uh, yeah, should be interesting. Hey, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.